and am married to a wonderful man named Scott Higgins. And I am also the stay-at-home mom to three very active boys. Um, our house is never as quiet as it is right now. Um, their ages are five, three, and nine months old. I um, am a photographer. I've had my business about seven years. Just recently though, I've had to scale back. Uh, well, ever, ever since uh, baby number three got here, I've really had to scale back. Trying to juggle homeschooling and everything that I need to do um, to keep up with the house, keep up with the chores of the house, and uh, running a business from home, oh my goodness, it was way too much, so I really had to scale back. Um, I also love to stay fit and stay active. Um, I love being at the gym, I love running races, I love riding bikes. I am currently training for my first triathlon. Oh my goodness, I am so nervous about it. Um, but I, I, I have two goals. I just want to finish the, uh, or cross the finish line, and to not die. Anything else that happens will just be icing on the cake, but that's, those are my goals, just finish the race and not die. So um, I'm very nervous about it and scared, but I hopefully will do okay. Um, I also love to write. Uh, whenever I was younger, when people would say, Monica, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would say, I want to be a photographer and a writer. Uh, so I've, I have completed that dream of being a photographer. And so I, who knows what the Lord has in store for me when it comes to writing. I feel like it's a skill that I, I need to um, work on. But it is something that I enjoy and I love sharing um, what God has done for, for me and for my family and what what's on my heart and um, to share the gospel and how amazing um, God is. Um, so hopefully we'll see what the future holds and what God has in store. Um, but I love writing for moms of boys, uh, particularly because whenever... I was, uh, whenever I first became a mom, I, it was something I'd always look forward to, but I didn't fall into that role as seamlessly as I had hoped. Um, my oldest, my firstborn had uh, medical issues that um, caused certain behavior issues because he was just um, basically living in torment um, because of his medical conditions. And I just was really struggling in how to love on him and how to connect with him. And, and I felt very alone because I would look at um, friends of mine that were also moms and they just did not seem to be struggling like I was struggling. So I felt very alone. Um, so I love writing uh, two moms of boys so they don't feel alone. And so um, that you can uh, hold on to truth that is God's word and um, to see that other moms who maybe have gone through the same thing that you're going through, um, which can really, really help you on those dark days. Um, I have so enjoyed getting to know a lot of you uh, through the Mob Society, and I hope to get to know more of you. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.